friends, welcome into my kitchen today as I am on a journey into simplifying and living a more meaningful lifestyle. I want to share with you part of my process, part of my journey. So today I put together 11 tips that you can use to reduce waste in your kitchen. I have been really looking into a more sustainable way of living. So these are tips that I find really helpful and that I hope that will bring more meaning into your life as well. If there's something that I haven't mentioned, please leave it in the comment section below this video and I would also love to hear what some of your favorite tips in today's video are. I noticed that once I organized and make my food more visible, it's easier for me to not only find things around the kitchen, but also to find motivation in experimenting around with different recipes. This prevents me from buying duplicates and I end up using what I already have. If you're looking for a safe non-stick pan that will last a lifetime, requires no soap for cleaning, provides iron into your food, consider a cast iron pan. This only cost me about $20 and it requires no soap to clean. The way I clean my pan is I set it on high heat and then I take a spatula to scrape off all the burning pieces. Then I wipe off any remains with a washcloth. While the pan still remains heated, I pour on some cooking oil. Then it's time to season the pan. So with a cloth, I evenly distribute the oil around the pan. And this will help keep the pan nourished and prevent it from rusting. Just keep note that a cast iron pan can get really hot and is very heavy. But if you use this properly, there are so many benefits you can get from this pan. Instead of buying individual cleaners, opt to buy bulk ingredients to make your own natural cleaner. So here is a very effective multi-purpose cleaner that you can make for yourself. You will need one tablespoon baking soda powder, one part distilled water, one part white vinegar, and then 10 to 20 drops of an essential oil of your choice. So instead of buying two multi-purpose cleaners and disposing the containers afterward, I'm able to remake two multi-purpose cleaners out of a 16 ounce bottle of white vinegar. I have been making my own reusable napkins and towels out of old bed sheets, but if you don't have time, you can buy cotton or linen towels in bulk online. Simply fold them or roll them into a basket. Place that basket where it's visible. By doing so, it's conveniently there for you to use in replacement to paper towels or napkins. After use, place them into the laundry for a cycle and then repeat. I love looking at my basket of reusable napkins and paper towels. They're so effective. This saves me from buying more and also reduce my paper towel waste. Aside from recycling, you can also repurpose old jars for storage and organization. Storage plastic bags and cling wraps have been some of the many things I wanted to eliminate from my kitchen. A nice alternative I was able to find are these linen beeswax sheet. They are not going to cling like the plastic wraps, but you can prevent dust from getting into your food or cover up any cut foods. Aside from the cling wrap, a great replacement to these plastic bags are these recyclable, sealable paper sandwich bags. They're great for storing sandwiches and treats. If you want to cut out plastic and paper straws, a great alternative that you can reuse and wash are these metal straws. They come in different sizes for smoothies and boba teas. A great way to store any extra food in the fridge or frozen food are glass and metal containers. For the glass containers, I store all of my extra leftover foods or any meal preps that I make. And for frozen food, I use metal containers. It has been reported that we use about 4 trillion plastic bags worldwide. Not only that, but only 1% of those get returned for recycling. A way that you can reduce bringing home plastic bags from the supermarket is to bring these reusable fabric bags with you. They are great for storing fresh produce like fruits and vegetables. You can also use reusable jars, but I find them quite heavy, so I do prefer to use the fabric bags. By supporting local businesses, going to your local farmer's market, you can reduce your carbon footprint. 
You can also make a great impact in what you buy and what you support by supporting brands that are certified to be organic, fair trade, and non-GMO will definitely help and encourage a more sustainable way of living. According to Earth Day, it has been reported that we use over 50 billion bottles of water each year. 91% of that is not recycled. If you can't use a filtration system at home, try using big gallon water bottles that you can reuse and refill. This is what I use to fill my smaller bottles and what I use for drinking. Plastic pollution alone is a global issue that is growing rapidly in our world. If we can start at home just by replacing our supplies with eco-friendly products, reusable items, and support sustainability, we can reduce our consumption and demands from waste that is hazardous to our health and well-being. Thank you so much for spending today with me. I would really love to know which of these tips are your favorite. And if there's anything you would like to share with us, make sure to leave it in the comment section below this video. Love you. Ciao.